avoid hospitals. I've, I've worked at hospitals, emergency rooms, 14 states around this country. I mean, I like helping people at the end of their life or when they're suffering. I'm not opposed to going to hospitals. I'm not opposed to getting operations. <clears throat> I'm not even opposed to being on medications if you need them. But I don't, unfortunately, for a lot of the chronic diseases we have, putting someone on 10 medications hasn't worked. Adding 11th medication isn't going to be the solution. You want to avoid aging so you don't get chronic diseases, so you don't need to be in hospitals. Okay. Community. I think trying to do this by yourself is very difficult. I think community is so much better. I saw this when I was the medical director at Hippocrates in West Palm Beach, Florida. I saw this at the Fasting Center at True North in Santa Rosa, California, where you're around other people. You're trying to reverse aging, reverse chronic diseases, just feel better. It's a lot easier to do with a whole community. I had a discussion yesterday with another Harvard graduate who's very interested in setting up a community to promote longevity for baby boomers. If there are any real estate developers who listen or watch this and looking to partner, reach out to me at drjosh.com or drjosh at drjosh.com. Um, this is where the future is. And the flip side is if you're aware of a community that's interested in this longevity, let me know, because this is so much easier to do with other people. In the villages, someone mentioned the villages in Ocala, Florida. I love the villages. The villages, to my mind, it's about golf and being outside and being in community, which is great. It's not about being vegan or eating plants or um, being with other people who want to do healthy things to prolong their health and lifespan. Um, yeah, I mean, I actually, I worked in an emergency room in the villages years ago that the health there weren't very many people interested in health promotion at that time. Um, and, and yeah, it sounds like I need to talk to Dan Butner with uh, Blue Zones. Okay. Good ideas. Thank you for the comments. All right. So to summarize, you want to make aging optional. It's key to eat plants. Plants have the antioxidants and the nutrients, and they don't have the bad toxins <coughs> that will lead to aging and chronic disease. Exercise. Exercise is incredible, and I don't want people to feel like, oh, I don't exercise at all, I therefore can't do it. Start. Start exercising. And one of the keys of exercise is sweating. Sweating releases toxins. So it may only take you a couple minutes of, of hard exercise to start sweating. That's enough to start. <clears throat> Next is to avoid processed foods. And the reason for that is the processed foods have all these toxins and they don't have the good nutrients. Okay. Reduce stress. Yes, you're allowed to have some stress in your life, but the you know we're we're not designed to deal with these huge amounts of stress. I mean, think back to our ancestors. I don't think most of our ancestors were up all night, day and night, you know, staring at computer screens. I think their stresses were finding enough food and protecting themselves from animals and other villages and, all right. Smart supplementation, I've given you a dozen different ideas. The key to start with, I think are NMN and nitric oxide. <coughs> all right, fasting, yes. Fasting, however you feel appropriate for you. If that just means skipping breakfast, skip breakfast. 
If it means only eating one meal, day, one meal a day, only eat one meal a day. If it means going to True North and water fasting for 10 days, do that. Optimize your sleep. Yeah, most of us need seven or eight hours of sleep. It's not macho to say, oh, I only need four hours of sleep. Well, for most people, that's going to catch up with you. Track your own health. <clears throat> there, there are devices now and companies that will let you track your own health. Whether it's through this new one I mentioned, or if you wear an aura ring, or you um, contract with Inside Track, track or, I'm sorry, Inside Track Tracker or Glycan Age. The exciting thing is you can make changes and then see has my biological age gone up or down? How am I doing? And uh, Judy has a good point. You know, fasting is not necessarily an option for people who are underweight, but even people who are underweight can stick to one or two day, one or two meals a day. All right, avoid hospitals. Yeah, again, I'm not saying never go to the hospital, but why don't we focus on prevention of all these chronic diseases so that you can push off the day you need to go to the hospital to very far away. In community, find a community. I love this community of the real truth about health. I wish we were in person together, but this is a good community. Another community I found helpful was Holistic Holiday C Cruise. I went every year for like eight years in a row. Um, find or create your own community of people who are into longevity, it's, it's very hard to do this on your own. Um, to reach me, here's my contact information. You can get an age reversal concept. Easiest way to reach out to me is drjosh.com, my website, drjosh.com. And I will, um, I have upcoming events. I'm speaking at a veg fest at the Southern California, September 23rd of this year. I also have an online reversing dementia summit in November of this year. Invite me to speak to your group or consult with me. I love environments like this where I can talk to so many people all at once because that's the key thing. Great, I'm, I'm taking some of these supplements. I'm implementing this for myself, but I wanna share this with as many people as possible. And, um, and Bobby, yes, I did mention the holistic holiday of cruise. And yes, Catherine, I agree. Hospitals are great at acute care, but they're not very good for most types of chronic disease. I agree with you. Here's, um, here's my contact tech information. Here's a QR code. Take this code and I will give you some bonus material in a second after you take a picture of this if you need it. All right, we'll go on to some bonus material next. And I want to talk a little bit more about blood sugar spikes and how to prevent them. One way is through essential oils that can decrease fat storage and increase your metabolic rate. And it turns out that these essential oils can do that. Grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, and cinnamon can all decrease fat storage and increase your metabolic rate. And some of you might say, well, I like eating grapefruit. I'm just going to eat some grapefruit. That's good. I'm a big fan of eating grapefruit. It turns out the essential oils from the grapefruit are found mainly in the peel of grapefruit. And you might eat peel of grapefruit, but you're going to be missing out on these essential oils. So my, my favorite company turns out to be this metabolic blend from doTERRA. Um, there's a huge problem, just like there's a problem getting good supplements like NMN. There's a, a big problem. Most of the essential oils out there are adulterated, meaning they're taking petroleum and distilling out one or two things. Um, and you may be getting toxins with your essential oil. And um, what you do with these oils, specifically the Meta Power Blend from doTERRA, I put it under my tongue, a couple drops under my tongue. I, I look at a mirror to make sure I'm getting it under my tongue. And I do that throughout the day. 
maybe four times a day. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I do. So, and, and what I was saying is you, I'm, I'm all for eating all these different things. Eat, eat your whole grapefruit, your lemon, your peppermint, your ginger and cinnamon. The problem with the issue is when we're talking about essential oils, you know, you might need, you know, a dozen grapefruit peels to produce a few drops of essential oil. What I like about doTERRA is on the bottom of the bottle, they've got a code I can look up for that batch, the one, the one I'm taking, to the mass spec gas chromatography to know that this is what it, what it says that I'm getting, what it said, what it says I'm getting on the label. That this is, isn't just some cheap contaminated petroleum extract of linalool, you know, one of the many compounds in lemon essential oil or grapefruit essential oil. Um, so this is the metabolic plan that I take that I recommend. And then the other bonus I've got for you is called MetaPower Assist, which I take. This helps, I, I take it 30 minutes before I eat any, anything that I know is going to be a high sugar carbohydrate meal that's going to spike my sugars. What it does, it has two compounds. One's called DNJ. These are plant compounds. One's called DNJ. And the other is called berberine. These are supplements that will help. It won't completely eliminate the spike of, of glucose, but it'll, it'll attenuate it. And the cool thing is whether you've got, uh, if you're doing glucose monitoring with either one of these continuous things on your arm, or if you're going to use this new light thing to measure your glucose um, just through the camera, you're going to see that your spikes will attenuate, will, will become less um, large, which in turn means that your body's producing less in insulin and insulin is the aging hormone that you want to avoid having large amounts of. Okay. For those of you who forgot this, this if this works, um, this will get you 20% off Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, and and we, we talked about, this is more than just one thing. I would suggest doing all these things to make aging optional, but I also don't want you to feel overwhelmed by like, oh, I've got to do, you know, these 10 things. No, pick one, you know, maybe each week do one new thing. Don't feel overwhelmed. And you know what? We're human. I'm human. It took me years literally to figure this stuff out. And that's frankly why we need a community is, is um, you know, we could say, hey, let's, let's go and exercise together tomorrow morning. People are much more likely to exercise if they have a plan with someone else for reasons of community and uh, you don't want to let someone else down. Um, many of the endorsements I mentioned uh, are on drjosh.com. And then if you want a whole handout that has all, all of my endorsements, you can just email me at drjosh at drjosh.com. And I will send you my whole list of uh, the endorsements. Now, Catherine says, Berberine is an amazing supplement, great for psoriasis, agreed. And what is psoriasis? Psoriasis is a, a disease, is a, it's a chronic disease where the body is basically attacking itself. All right, and that's it. Looks like I finished uh, 10 minutes early. So let me open it up to questions. And if I didn't, if you had a comment that I didn't answer, please redirect it. <laughs>